right? They were not being curious at all at the group stage. This is just serious gameplay. Let's see how they take it up against these other squads. It's going to be NU Energy opening up the game very cleanly, picking up those early points down at the hotel yard. Can they keep that up? They need to keep this momentum. They need to shock NRX. They need to shock and paralyze NRX. That's the only way they can get this match, Jericho. Yes, and as we do see, it is going to be an early lead for uh, NUA, actually. And as you can see, NU NRX actually flipped the spawns. Uh, they're not actually in the in the favorable spawning, and they have to flip it. But if you look at the map, AJ, three players of NUA actually... They are actually set up, and let's see how they're going to hold this. They do have that big lead right now, AJ. 31-12. It's NU Energy. This is what I'm talking about. Whether that overconfidence might all scared, just blazing through NRX Jeremiah. And yeah, as we could see, it's it's like the same story from RSG and, and Almighty. Look at the kill feed. All NU Energy and NRX not having the best of. They could try to make this contest, but they, I feel like they should just really rotate AJ. And set up for that new one, get that whole 60 to be right back at the game, AJ. And you enter taking match number one. Is this that dream? Is, that the, is this the dream that they just thought might never come through? But once again, I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Don't count. And our ex Jeremiah out just yet. One full yes. hard point. They may be able to catch this back. And you, Anarchy, need to do it now. They need to capture house. They need to reset the spawn. If they can get it done, Jericho, it will be monumental. to be with those defense. Skirt might be able to eliminate all of them with the sparrow. You know, you know the prox proximity damage in here with a two piece. And he gets it. And we might just see NRX take their first blow in this match. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what's happening. Scurry just making the play for the team. And N NRX are scrambling right now, scrambling, scrambling. They did get in that hill, but they only managed to get like 11 points. But they're just getting destroyed left and right. NRX is not having the best right now. But rotations, this is where NU have to take advantage and put them right to sleep because this is going to be the huge hill. And look at number three, AJ Owens already there alone. Oh, yeah, man. He's not alone. Look at this. NRX crush as he goes in here for the approach. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for something special. The boys from the Philippines. Filipino represent. There is a reason why there are two squads at the Garena Invitational from the Philippines. Because the talent pool within the Philippines when it comes to Call of Duty Mobile, oh my lord, it's just so huge. As NU Anarchy steps back in here to bake that bread, NRX will kick them right out. Aceki with the attempt gets flushed out. It brought beautiful defense and gets that backup from his team members as well. And it looks like NRX Jeremiah 2911 will be able to defend this for a little bit longer. Sparrow in hand, Candy, nobody can touch the sweet little candy well here we go aj now nrx slowly coming back they're going to be managing to get this point this is important for them they do need this and it's going to be a, a 77 to 106 after they get everything here and now uh nua is actually getting pressured you know they're, they're having a hard time closing out they did get that early lead but as you can see someone has to make the play and this is the play aj Oh no, they needed to stop earlier already. They go in for the play. They got suckered into that one. NRX wanted them to do it. Jay-Z with the solo hole. They want to play for the hotel yard. They should have gone in there and set up their defenses. But then again, the hotel yard is not really a place to rush into. XS1 Goliath Steel coming through. Are we going to be able to see? Ah, uh, no, no steel. They haven't picked it up. Crush manages to get that. And it looks like NRX Jeremiah will be attempting that comeback gameplay right in here. Whoopi we'll with the two piece for himself. QQ9 Rampage and it's going to be crushed with a peak. Oh no! XS1 Goliath almost got him taken down, but I don't know if that defense with that FH status didn't do that much damage on Crush. And this is the thing, Jericho. It takes an XS1 to take Crush down. What if Crush is in an XS1? Well, now, as you can see, the double glide coming in for NRX. They're going to try to get all this time. I know no one got in for the 40 seconds, but the 22nd hill is just what they need. They dropped a lot of score streaks, and Candy's still alive with 6 HP, just trying to get that time. But the rotation's coming in here. Remember, the last time this hill came through, NUA managed to get in here, but here, it, it's going to be here now, AJ. The score is getting closer and closer, AJ. 
Crash is still alive. This guy is unkillable even when he doesn't have the XS1 suit. Three. Look at the three XS1 suit in here with the defense. And now Rex Jeremiah 2911. They might be able to close this game off. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, they call they call them the comeback kings for a reason. But then you anarchy may be able to close them off, shut them down. Can they do it to their senpai? Because we are down and dirty at the warehouse and the XS1 the law comes through for NRX. One X is one right in front of him. Crash with the absolute damage. This is raw. This is absolute raw gameplay from the Philippines. And it's crazy, Jericho. It is very crazy, and they need to contest this. Just a little bit more time. But I think NRX can close it out here. They might be able to close it out and the game here. And what the turnaround, AJ? NRX never count them out. And just like that, eight more seconds, AJ, can NRX take this home? Absolutely. What was I begging you guys? I begged you. I pleaded. Do not count NRX Jeremiah 2911 out. No no so one much. can do it right now. Enemy down. Mm -hmm. And we do see game number two already in SND. And, uh, you know, this might be just NUAA. They need to win this, but they might be down. And that momentum is with NRX. But they do have Bayman, AJ. So let's see what's going to happen if he can make a play. The Golden Bat Boy. He hasn't pulled out that Golden Bat at all in the Arena Invitational that much. And that shows that he listens. He's got his ears wide open and he respects. He has grown so much, so much in that Philippines championship, just in that short duration. And 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 you anarchy come in here as as grown men as Whoopi oh, takes Bayman out of the equation with a headshot. Don't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. He fell in love with the snipes when he saw Whoopi come in here for the play. Just like that, it's a 3-3 situation. This is the opener match. This is the warm-up, Jericho. Let's see who takes it. And yes, we do see 1v3. It's all up to Jay-Z. Captain Jay-Z trying to make a play, but it's a little bit too late for that. 1-0. And now NUAA gets that first breather that they need. And they did. They have to get this win, actually. It's a must win for them, AJ, because they did choose this map. And it's going to be unfortunate if they lose this. But then, like you said a while ago, they're going up against NRX. So it's going to be really hard. And let's see how NRX responds to that first round. Yeah, but but we also have to remember, right, that any NRX is one of the best one of the best search and destroy teams in here at the Garina in the face points. And I've compared their IQ plays to only Almighty because Almighty is just all, all the way up top, right? Ace Key with the one piece in there, doesn't go in for the second shot. The player just too fast for him. And Jay-Z, oh my God. How do you move like that, Jericho? I, I, mean, I couldn't even follow him and AC just said, you know what, just take me out already. And now we can see the push come in actually. They're trying to make this play here and crush. We'll make that play can take him out. This is a 1v1 go for it. Oh, Bayman! Bayman says no, AJ! And just like that, it's a 1v3 off the Demors. Are you Lost that round, but it's not NRX yet. takes right one quick one back. See, that, that was an all-out brawl, and that's the only way NRX can win this against NU Anarchy at Crash. They need to go in for an all-out brawl. The Just moment they Jackson. fall into a, a, a position where they allow NU Anarchy to control the pace of the game on Crash, it's game over. NU Anarchy will take it away from their sentais. Yes, and, and remember, uh, uh, Crash is a very one-sided map. So I think NRX is just trying to play it on their side and trying to get some kills. But then, you know, it's going to be a really good time here to stack up those those rounds in order for them to get that huge lead. In here on the prowl, seeing if or not he can take down a couple of more players, opening up the match for his squad. And you enter to Bayman with that shot, but misses. Oh, the second one as well. So unlike the golden bad boy. And you enter, he might pay for that. And JC takes him out of the equation. Bayman not going to be too happy at all, but Skirt as well as Demos, they do more, more than what is required of them in this round. Whoopi with his quick scopes cannot do anything as Owen takes him out from the back. QQ9 action, just too spicy. Can these solo KRM in hand the bomb as well. It's going to be Demos who shuts it down as NU Anarchy picks up point number two. 
and just like that, now it's 2-1, AJ. But as you can see, you know, NRX is having a hard time now because they've been red, you know. They tried to make that rush play, but slowly but surely, they're getting... They're, anyway, is actually stacking more of a society, and NRX is just trying to make some kills here, trying to get those early picks, but it's really hard to get a picks here and crush AJ. Whoopi opens it up early. Oh, with two piece as well. Demos and Oven taken out. Whoopi on freaking fire. And NU Anarchy needs to control the pace better. Skirt takes Whoopi out, but Crush gets it done against Bayman, which means NU Anarchy is going to lose this. Ace Key, the solo one player left in here. Four versus one. What can he do? Bomb being planted as well. Bring that clock down to 45 seconds. It's game over. NRX will equalize things unless Ace Key can show his godly gameplay right now. Yes, and actually, as soon as I said a while ago that they need to make a pick, Whoopi just got me a double kill. And yeah, this should be a round for NRX, but unless uh, unless AC just does something unbelievable, but I doubt he can do that with all the NRX boys aiming at him. And now it's a 2-2, so back and forth we go, AJ, and this is going to be the last round for offense for NRX. Maybe they like that defensive side, and then maybe NUAA likes the offense. Let's see what's going to happen in this round number five, AJ. Yeah, once you go in for the high-rise plant, right, it's 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 a lockdown, especially if you are outnumbering the opposition. Because if the entry through Clash Ren as well as the high building yard, neither one provides you any sort of protection. You just need to be really fast, need to be really lucky with those slides as well. Skirt taking Whoopi out of the equation. Early 4-4 situation. Crush in here. QQ9 melting point. He goes, turns his back and Demos makes him pay for that. And it looks like NU Anarchy has got this one in the back. They are controlling the pace of this match. Candy with the KRM. He shouldn't be able to do anything. Two players right there in front of him. And if Candy makes a situation bad here for his squad, which is exactly what he does, NU Anarchy will guarantee this win for themselves. Yes, this should secure the round for NUAA. But then again, you're going up against Jay Z and Idra, two of the, one of the top players in the scene. And you know, Idra, he can still make a play with this chopper. But you know, look at the bomb; it's going to be on A side, and they know where is it. So I think NU, all they have to do is just really watch and not do a lot. Well, Idra, solo player left in here. A 4 on 1. Oh, and he manages to take Oban out of the equation. But that's it. The numbers game will ensure that NU Anarchy... It's the high rise, man. Once you control high rise at the search and destroy and crash, it, it's, it's game over. You go in there for the plan as well as the attacking team. It's game over. And NRX knows that. They drop the bomb. And this time, they give it to NU Anarchy to turn things around. This comes in as the attack, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How are we going to see them get this done? 5 on 5 Still whoopee, no opening frags just yet. Bayman will be going on the search. The defense, oh! As Demos gets taken out by JC. Going in for yet another, but Skirt and Bayman not only make it a little bit equal, they will try to get the advantage for themselves. But the prevention man, 3-3. Three, three. Bayman, golden bat is out. Will he get it done? And as we can see, the bomb carrier with Owen actually just waiting for Steven to make a play. They're actually all spread it out. It's all going to be a 1v1 gunfight for everyone. Then they make their plays. He does win his gunfight. Now it's a 3v2. And as we can see, it's going to be a 2v3. And let can NRX make a play here. But they know Bayman's in the back. AJ, now they're trying to, trying to regroup and make a play here, AJ. Contact with enemy. To Oven with the push. A crush can go in and take him out, but it is Oven who catches him. Unsuspecting takedown. And Idra will be the last one to exit as any energy approach their win. Two more rounds and they bag it. Yeah, and AJ, like we said, it's a must win for, for NUAA and they're doing exactly that. And for NRX, you know, Candy, he has to step up. You know, he's not he's still with zero kills and he's not having the best of games. But I think he just has to slow it down, you know. Maybe he's trying to do too much for the team. He's trying to slow it down. And as you can see, we're going to see a, a delay push for NUAA trying to get some picks out of HG and Bayman with those snipers. Or to Ace Key. He needs to be careful here. And you, Anarchy, if they do go ahead and lose Ace Key early, this might be trouble. And they don't understand. This is a stack on high rise by both of the squads. Idra takes Demos out with a headshot. Ace Key backs away as he knows that this is going to be trouble in Paradise Crush. He goes in for the approach, but he potatoes that jump and he will have to fall back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are we going to be able to see Idra come in here for the push? Owen goes out and it's going to be Ace Key with the amazing call and Idra 
are taken out of the equation a four on four which means this is all equaled up and you anarchy can go in here for the plan but can they make it so much more difficult for them Bayman out of the equation jay-z with the approach as ace key takes him out it's a three three absolutely nothing between the two as skirt takes out that sweet little candy oh he makes crush pay for the cheeky little chop as NU Anarchy approach point number five. Will the long lost son of the mustachio, Whoopi, make that difference? This is a split. It is difficult. But he spots Skirt. He goes in for that shot. Whoopi, can he get the full? Skirt says, get out of here, boy. And give us point number five. That was just... I thought NRX had that right, actually. But I think they just over pushed on defense, you know, because like when they try to kill one, they just go in there. You know, that just a small mistake that uh, a lot of players still do to this day. And, you know, it pays for that price five, too. And Crush, unfortunately, gets shotgun. They tried using an axe, and, but this should be the final round for NUA. Can they close it out against NRX? AJ, they're going to try to do the same plays, and let's see if they can do it again. Yeah, I think I think this is game over, man. This is NU Anarchy. There's, there's no way they're gonna allow NRX to be first to beat them now. As Raymond takes Andy out of the equation, Demos with a beautiful play. Daisy eliminated a four on two situation, calls for Whoopi and Crush to come in here and shine. But it's not gonna be easy as Crush gets crushed. Skirt gets eliminated by Whoopi, but it's a three on one situation. What can get a golden boy? What can the best sniper from the Philippines? Ah, let me scratch that. What can the best sniper in the world of Call of Duty Mobile achieve in here? Or has he? He lost his shine. Whoopi KRM push goes in for the quick scope, doesn't get that shot off, and he will pay for it as Demos shuts him down. It looks like NU Anarchy. Beautiful comeback gameplay. I mean, number three standoff domination. Here we go, AJ. Let's see who's gonna get these early picks to set that tone. And as you can see, just trades back and forth, and they do have to control statue tank and top. Brown in order to get these power possessions locked down, AJ. Oh, look at the push. Double pick coming through. Bravo, Charlie. And you, Anarchy. Beautiful openness. Good. Oh, and the two Bs for himself. Backing it up with Owen as well. KRM galore. Together with that QQ9. Wow. Look at NU Anarchy. Stack it up, man. This is the way you play. With a triple cap as well. It is going to be on none other than Whoopi. Just trying to rage on a little bit. But for how much can we see the bad boy from the Philippines? NU Anarchy. Get it done against their spin buys here today, Jericho. Yeah, you know, even though they got that early trip cap, that's a huge lead for them because it stopped the scoring for for NRX, and now they're scrambling right now, not having the best of gunfights and in, in their and their what's happening right now, AJ. And as you can see, 27 to 11, slowly climbing, but it's still early, still the early game, AJ. Well, let's see if or not any energy is absolutely special as nrx goes in here for that bravo play they don't want to release that spot just yet there you go this is the biggest test that any energy is facing and i do understand ladies and gentlemen boys and girls a lot of you want nrx jeremiah 29 11 to win you have to also understand that if any energy wins against them dude, that, 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 that's it man Every yeah. single news media in the Philippines, when it is concerned with esports, is going to be talking about it tomorrow. I mean, yeah, you're right with that, and AJ, and they just need to win. They need to win a respawn. This respawn is going to set their tone because it's going to push back NRX's confidence level. But now, as you can see, 53 to 24, AJ dominating this first half. But AJ, we're just going to repeat it again. The comeback kings, NRX. So you can never ever count them out, AJ. 59 27 this is not hard point it's not easy to make a comeback they need to hold on to that bravo for a little bit longer but hell this is nrx here my 29 11. yes it is possible as smoke goes in there for the push look at the flying crush crushing his hopes there is no way the players from NRX Jeremiah uh, 29 11 want to allow this to drop. But when you come up against a squad like NU Energy, who's just so relentless, who just doesn't want to give up no matter what, it gets a little bit hard, even if you're the kings of Garena, Jericho. Yes, and that is true. But then again, 16 to 45, NRX actually managed to get that double cap. It stops the bleeding of the bleeding. You know, and now they're trying to, they're slowly coming back from it. And now they're just trying to build their score streaks from here. They know they're not going to win this round here unless they get a trip cap. But just earning their score streaks, getting ready for the next round, and already planning what to do next. 
Well, any energy is not going to try for anything crazy because obviously the time is running out 75 and we will hit our halfway point, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Any energy in front, but look at the catch-up gameplay coming in from the Senpais. 56 for NRX and this first opener can NU Anarchy do the exact same thing again can they get that Cash double capture yes. NRX will be trying for the exact same thing Jericho Enemy yes and actually Alpha. remember Enemy what uh, NUA did they stacked immediately and managed to have two they're gonna try to do that but can the big plays coming out getting that power position with the statue Getting those trades immediately, but he, before Mukoki die, he does have full streak. So we're gonna see a lot of streaks invested in this half. So and now it's gonna be a battle for the home flags, AJ. As you can see, it might be a double cap coming in now. Might be a double cap, even a triple with the alpha prevention coming through. It looks like it is perfect for the players of NU Anarchy and Charlie right now. The takeover gameplay, but prevention as well from NRX. NU Anarchy doesn't get it, but a double cap comes through. Oh, the kings of Garina, the kings of Philippines did not see this coming through, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, but the comeback kings. If there's anyone who can get it done, even when it looks like all hope is lost, it is NRX Jeremiah. 9-11, the triple cap, the triple kill, my apologies, with the cluster strike, just enough, just enough for NU Anarchy, going for the push on Bravo yet again, look at the prevention, Kendi this time takes out T-Force as well as Kurt, and with a cluster of his own, this is all out right, not for the money, not for the world stage, but for the Filipino pride, Jericho. And yes, and we do see HJ use that advanced UAV. Will it be good to hear? And we can see Skurt making the plays for his team, but his teammates are not there. Everyone's spawning a gas station now. Oh my god, this is going to be a back and forth. Demore's making that play. It's going to be just like the first half, AJ. Now they're going to be capping that home flag. That advantage is for them, AJ. And now it's going to be a double cap again in favor of NUAA. And we're going to see all the score streaks coming in here in a quite while. Yeah, it's going to be the weed hole from AC in a bit. The Bravo capture attempt coming through once again and he knew he can die and why because he will be pulling out that VTOL as I say it he does exactly that and the kills the two kills coming in on Edra as well as can be absolutely important to allow a new energy to go in for the triple cap but this time it is going to be Edra who comes in here for the prevention gameplay holding back all of the players from a new energy and look at this all so close just a little bit more and it's going to be Demos who gets it done and it's the trail no prevention on. Prevention from NRX Jeremiah as Alpha and Bravo now sits in their hands. 122 to 102. 20 points between the two spots. And then you energy bring this to a freaking close. I think it's possible. It is so very possible, Jericho. Yeah, it's still possible. The two cap can still get that win for NRX, but anyway, I'm just to answer back, AJ. And now this is all going to be coming down to the final kills and how you use your Scott or score streaks and your operator skills. Big kills coming from Surge, and here comes the VTOL. It's all going to come down to this. This last push for both teams will set who's going to win or lose this game, AJ. Game over, Jericho. Game over. And uh, you, Anarchy, I tell you, my man, has managed to go on a rampage and not even NRX Jeremiah 2911 can stop them unless they can take the triple cap and hold it till the end of the game. And NRX can do no thing to crush the app. Absolute accelerated fire that burns through and uh, you energy and they will finish it off with a triple crap as well. That just shows that they can play on any map. It doesn't even matter if it's firing range or a standoff or raid, name it, they can be there. That is what game we, number four. Will we see a 3-1 or will we see a game number five, AJ? Here we go, AJ. Hot point, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And this is going to be your summit gameplay. And uh, we know for a fact that this time NU Energy has an on Okay, because this is the map pick. But NRX has come in here. This is, this is like the, the room where NRX, you know, used to change their diapers when they were a little baby. If NU Energy thinks they can surprise their senpais, 
they better be ready for a surprise themselves. But even as I say that, look at the opening score. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, NRX Jeremiah 2911. You want to know what they're doing here, Jericho? They are getting in for a perfect setup. They call themselves the untouchable, undeniable comeback kings. But, I mean, the early read does come in for NUAA, anyway, eh? and just like that, AJ, 38 points already for NUAA. And I've seen this, I've seen this already happening, but you know, NRX, they just have to set up again, you know, slowly make it back from here, get that second floor control and getting those kills. But NUAA just trading out everything, and it's all NUAA in the kill feed. But NRX, they just have to slow it down, AJ, just have to slow it down. Slow it down. Keep it up, y'all, both of you. Keep it up. And you, Anarchy, there's something special. This is what that special is. But NRX Jeremiah 2911, I begged you, I pleaded, don't count them out. You didn't count them out. And they showed you. They showed you exactly why they shouldn't be counted out. 43 to 4 at a place like Summit in a game like Hardpoint is nothing, Jericho. Absolutely nothing. And you, Anarchy, needs to fight even harder. If NRX thinks that they can set up a great comeback and be called the untouchable, undeniable comeback kings. They need to be really careful who they play that game with because then no, you, Anarchy, can just take it away. And not can they only take the game, they take the throne, they take the title, they take the, they take everything away from NRX today if they get the win, Jericho. And yes, and we do see the rotations coming in here now. This will be a huge hill. Will anyway if NUA takes this age, it's gonna be 110 already for them. And if NRA takes this, they're gonna be back in the game. But we'll see what's gonna happen here. Remember, most of the teams come back on this hill, AJ. And now it's gonna be all operator skills for NUAA. Can they manage to make a play here? HG just going back and forth. Everything's going on for NUAA and NRX. They have to make a play here already, or else it's gonna be a little bit too far, AJ. Oh, that little bit too far. I think it's nothing for NRX Jeremiah 2911. The further the gap, the crazier, the crazier. They make the mustachio go when he screams out each and every one of those names. But they need to be careful. They play a very dangerous game as it is NRU Energy. The kings of the Philippines might just change. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the ceremony of the throning. This is the ceremony to replace 98 to 98. Nine, what is going on? NRX Jeremiah 2911, what is going on, Jericho? They're just not winning their gunfights, and it's just really hard. And we do see NUAA, everyone is ready with score streaks, AJ, and they're gonna break this hill. One good break and end the game, AJ. And here we go. But NRX, they can still come back on this. They are using all their scores, their all their operator skills. They have to win all the gunfights here. As soon as you said that, all the gunfights are ensuing, AJ. And now this is the last push for this can be one push for N NUAA to end the game, AJ. Just one push. NRX playing a dangerous game here. Once again, they only start performing at the fourth hard point. Can they do it again? Crushing it, Ra just crushing it. It Ra drops back in here, and it looks like even the edge is no place for the team of NU Anarchy to stand as NRX Jeremiah 2911 shows exactly who is the king when it comes to that edge game. They crush, still crushing it, and it is going to be all oh, just saw the excess one Goliath coming through there. And goes in for a tremendous hit. It's gonna be Candy as well, and he goes in for the push. Beautiful, beautiful takedown by AC on the XS1 Goliath. And the comeback gameplay looks like it is possible as Jay-Z manages to close out the full of the Blue Raider station for NRX. 1-1-2 to 60. I begged, I pleaded, don't count them out. If you already counted them out in the comment section, I pity you, I'll pray for you, because this is gonna be very salty for all of those who predicted that the game was already over Jericho. And yeah, we can see the same story from game number one. NUA getting to that 100 point mark, but now they're just having a hard time to close it out. Can they manage to close it out with this perfect second rotation? Let's see what's gonna happen here, AJ. As you can see, all the streaks are still ready there, but I feel like, yes, we do see an, a, a cluster strike, very good cluster strike coming in for NRX, but can they manage to get the points here? As you can see, it's being contested back and forth, AJ. Anyone's just game, anyone's just trying to get the points now, AJ. And let's see what's gonna happen next, AJ. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. NRX, I hope you did not play a game that you did not think 
through well as they go in here for the push. And uh, you, Anarchy, 25 more points. And they can kick, they can kick their friend fights out of the Garena Invitationals. They can kick the invited squad out of the Garena Invitationals. They can kick the kings of Garena out of the Garena Invitational Jericho. But can be moving to be able to get a couple of shake down. 127 to 84. If NRX can go in here and capture the third hard point, the edge platform. If they can control the whole of the edge platform, not only will they be able to catch up on those points, they will also overtake that leaderboard. And we will have one more hard point to call this particular game between these two. And here we go, this is it. 10 more points, 10 more points for the closer guys coming in. Kendi has to make that play. He's gonna take out one and here comes NRX and all, everything coming in now. But another closer strike coming in for NUAA. Nine more points, AJ. They can manage to give this up and play for the retake, but I think they're still gonna try to push this. They do have their last Predator missile from Skurd. At least see what's gonna happen here, AJ. It's gonna come down to the wire, AJ. Oh, 141 to 97. Can they get it done? That's something special. And uh, you, Anarchy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, NRX will hit that 100 point mark. But this might just be, this might just be all over as we go in for that rotation all the way down into the cable car platform. The final fight might just be on. NRX is the one snare. If they can hold on 50 seconds in, they complete this game. If you energy to the table car with their lives, they will kick out the champions. They will kick out the champions of Karina. As will be have taken down. It's gonna be Owen and Skirt. NRX with the defense. A three player force. And this might just oh be my it. Oh my energy. But no! Jay-Z comes right back. War machine gameplay. And the fight will continue. 24 seconds and new energy the cable car platform neither squad wants to pivot it up they have to contest this still if they want to rotate the inside good contest coming in but they're still going to be winning that there's only one pretty rotating not the best option seven more seconds aj five more seconds and i think nrx just completed comeback they have to contest this and here we go nrx is inside for three two one and nrx completes the comeback aj we're going to a game number five Silence. F in the chats. F in the chats. F in the chats. <sighs> I don't even know what to say, AJ. It's not yet over. Undisputed comeback kings of the arena. <sighs> God damn it. Kings of the arena. NRX Jeremiah 2911. If there's one squad that can get it done, it is NU Anarchy. Yeah, this is it, AJ. Game number five. All bets on the table. And here we go. We do see Bomb will go down. And it's going to be a hard one. This is going to be that first round is going to be warming up. and But everyone's just hot right now, AJ. 20 seconds in here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Are we going to be able to see them take this up against each other? It's going to be a new anarchy, Oven, with a golden bat of his own. A 2 on one situation. It's Bayman as well as Oven, and Bayman eliminates Candy, and that is it. As NU Anarchy strikes and takes first blood. Yeah, AJ, this is, this is where they have to think about it. SND wins the championships, and I think this is this just might go to a game five round eleven. It might just go down to the wire, but let's see what's gonna happen here. As you can see, NRX actually just mat one man down AJ, but they can still have time to regroup. Oh, but it's a two-on-one situation. Oh, and Crash is taken out as well. This is NU Anarchy's setup, and they are on the attacking side. Edra doing his damage with the chopper, but this is not like the old days. Edra, oh, as Oven gets unfortunately taken down with a headshot. Edra still striking. Ace Key shuts that down. NU Anarchy will take two rounds. But like I said, and like I've begged, like I have pleaded, don't count NRX Jeremiah out. Yes, never, ever. Count him out, AJ. But as we can see, NUA actually putting that, applying that pressure to them, and and now let's see, they're, they're just they're just they're just making like, them play it. As we can see, big kills coming out from Bayman, opening the lanes for NUA to make the bomb plant, AJ. I'm I'm, I'm not surprised yet. 
Okay, I'm not, I, I, I don't want to get my hopes up yet. They gone! Oh, Crush makes him pay. And it looks like Crush will just absolutely decimate the players from NU Anarchy. Scared with the opportunity. Oh, no, can be. Slip and slide. But the spies take one back. And just like that, as soon as she said that, Crush and Candy making those big plays and making those adjustments, even though NU gets that first pick, AJ, they managed to readjust and making it their round. And now let's see what's going to happen here. If it's going to be another rush for NU or is it going to be another slow push for them? So Ace Key this time takes out Whoopi. Whoopi really hasn't shined a lot at all mm -hmm. at the initial pitch. It's very surprising, very, very surprising. I think he's gone into hibernation a little too long. Candy in here with the approach. Payment is already out with his bat. Is he going to be able to strike as NU Anarchy has already gotten that plan? Being shot at, Payment doesn't want to show himself. Owen is there with the defense as well. Comes out for the backup, but it's going to be Candy who takes him out. Hydra, he's still expecting it with the back stab. Oh, Payment gets it done. If you want to pull out the golden bat, Bateman does it at the right time. He pulls it out when he's facing his senpais, when he knows this is going to be that final showdown. Bateman and squad, I wish you all the best as your senpais get serious. Yeah, it's it's giving me goosebumps right now, AJ. Just watching this game five, and I don't really know what's going to happen oh. next. But Whoopi, I think he's listening to us, AJ. I mean, both, both of these spots are definitely listening, man. You think NRX as well as NU Anarchy is going to skip on the extra adrenaline boost that the Mustachio gives them while shoutcasting? Hell no. No player wants to miss out on that. As NRX brings that to a close, it is going to be 2-2-3 two, two, on that catch-up gameplay. And we'll go in for that switch as well as the Senpais pick that bomb up. And yes, we do see now it's going to be, uh, they're going to be switching sides now, AJ. And let's see if NRX will shine on this offensive side. They managed to get out some defense, but NUAA, they love this defense side because they know all the spots already. But here comes NRX, the juggernauts. Can they make a play here? Look how spread out they are. They're going to play around Whoopi, trying to get those opening picks again. And let's see what's going to happen here. Demos as he eliminates Idra from this equation. It's NU Anarchy in amazing, in an amazing spot. But what he has in front of him is now Crush. Crush, he might just go in for the juggernaut. He goes in for the backstab. Luckily, it is not going to be an easy match up against Demos, who backs away from that equation as well, leaving Crush in a five on one. If there's anyone who can get it done, it's Crush. But look at him, man. QQ9 goes in for the slay, but Aski with that backstab. It's not over yet. All right, so four to two, AJ. Two more rounds for NUAA to close it out, and NRX still needs four more to get back in the game. But you know, it's uh, I think they they just have to play it slow now. You no, know, they've been playing really fast. NRX, they have to play it slow. Let NUAA come to them because NUAA they love rushing with their shotguns, and NRX are just couldn't counter. They're just, they're just getting outgunned right now. But here we go. What's gonna happen here on this next round, AJ? NU Anarchy just needs one more round. If we see that, we go into round number 11. For sure, Daisy Peepings, Owen B was eliminated, and it looks like it's just Three. too easy as Captain Z goes on a freaking rampage with a four piece as well. Can he go in for his ace? It's gonna be Jay Z with the hunt. Captain freaking Jay Z Woo! gets that ace, and it is gonna be NRX Jeremiah 29 11 with point number three. This, oh, come on, man. Someone get Jay Z a new helmet already. <laughs> And just like that, that's the momentum that they need, uh, AJ. And I think now the NRX boys are going to get that confidence boost. But they have to make this perfect to tie it up. And NUA, they have, they just have to slow it down. They'll get too confident and they have to win their gunfights and stick to what's right, AJ. The training 1,000 people watching so far. Don't forget to smash that like button. Share the stream out as well so everyone can see just how great the Philippines is at Call of Duty Mobile. This is the greatest battle between the nation itself as Owen crushes crush. Aski takes Candy out of the equation and you Anarchy. They might just push this. They might just push this to point number five. Oh, ah! With a takedown, it's going to be the two piece and Whoopi is all alone. Aski with the defusal and that might just be it. Oh, no. And you... Anarchy with the match point. AJ, the hardest thing to do in an SD is to close out. And we'll see here if NUAA is capable of closing out the game. AJ, it's going to come down to this round, AJ. Yeah, it's difficult, bro, because 
player on the defense, right? They should have gotten it spotted on that attack earlier. On the defense, so much more difficult. Crush QQ9, he knows this is crunch time and you anarchy. If they take this, oh, this is going to be so painful for the kings of Karina Bayman in here with the push so far. Thermite on the gameplay goes in for the toss and the players in here. Crush takes first blood. Ace key out of there. A five on four situation and still on the prowl with the QQ9. Goes in for the push. Red the backstab. Bayman out as well. Goes in for the third piece and he will eliminate Oven. This is how you play it. And NRX Jeremiah 2911 will go to look and finish this off. But third in the two piece so far. Jay-Z and Whoopi eliminated. It brought the next one to get taken out. No, no, no. A mistake coming in from skirt as he was for the name just for the laughs just for the glory let's see if he does pick up a weapon here it would be still a winnable game but as soon as he said that now the crunch time is you know crush made that play uh aj that three piece that flank huge place coming out from him and now it's four five one more to tie and let's see if we're gonna see a round 11 or are we gonna see Destroy the are we going to see someone going home, Major? See, th th that's why I said, right, if any Anarchy is just one round, we will go to round number 11. I don't pick NRX, it is them. As Crush takes Oven out of the equation, which means this is difficult! Oh, no. The King of Sniper Strikes! When it is most important, it's going to be a good plan coming through, and Crush will eliminate ASP from that equation, leaving just Demos and Bayman to clean up whatever that is left. As Demos takes Idra out of the equation, he goes in for a quick push. It's on that smoke so far. Can he get the defuser? Oh it's oh a ninja. Can he? No, 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 no. As he goes in for the push, Bayman with that bat. But Whoopi with the snipe. And we go 5-5. Five, five, and you anarchy on the attack. This is an opportunity. The final chance for the showdown. The Philippines will see either a new champion or a proven carrier. I've been wanting to say in this game. 5, round 11. This is it, AJ. No more mistakes. Who's going to go home? Who's going to stand up? Here we go, bomb will go down, AJ. Let's see what's gonna oh. happen here. Who's gonna get this oh, no. retake? Whoopi missed that shot, and Skirt takes Whoopi out! Oh no! This might be Whoopi a new Whoopi. anarchy game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. They draw on Skirt, and it looks like it's a four on four situation. Crush, can he get it done? QQ9 waiting for the approach. 28 seconds, and he goes in. It's a two man stand here. Demos! KRM! But Crush gets it done! A two on one situation! And they, oh, he still stays alive! It draw gets it done! Ace Key defuse! And they pull it off. Ace Key! Candy with the slice, and it looks like it is over. all over as payment goes through. N U Anarchy bomb diffused ends the fairy tale run. <sighs> One of the best runs I've seen in a tournament, but it's just it's not enough. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest, okay. There were many a chance. Ma okay, many a chance. I gave myself away already. There were many. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jay Z. Yeah, flex on them, Cap. <laughs> there, there were many a times, all right, where NRX gave NU Anarchy the lead. And it's just unfortunate that I'm calling it in that way. Yes, a lot of the NU Anarchy.